Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of erased and the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start the video, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel. Please check the link in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Various species of mythical headless men were rumored, in antiquity and later, to inhabit remote parts of the world. Limmies are said to occur in two types, with eyes on the chest, or with the eyes on the shoulders. Epiphagy, a variant name for the headless people of the Brisson. They were first described as inhabitants of ancient Libya or the Nile system. Custom House, Prince William Street, St. John, New Brunswick. About 1890, 19th century. Look at those antennas. The puzzle for scientists was found in Shelbyville, Illinois, USA. The town was founded in 1827, which is very recent by historical standards. How the city ended up 4 to 5 meters in the ground is a mystery. The Palace of Popular Diligence, 1859 to 1864. The Palace of Popular Diligence was a large exhibition hall located in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Although there are no images of the construction, the common narrative states that construction started in 1859 and lasted till 1864. According to Wikipedia, the Spanish-Portuguese Jew Samuel Sarfati is responsible for the founding of the palace and realized this building with the help of architect Cornelis Outschuren, who allegedly designed this building that clearly shows distinctive features of Tartarian architecture. The Destruction of the Palace of Popular Diligence On the night of April 17, 1929, the Palace of Popular Diligence was mysteriously destroyed by a fire, leaving only a couple parts of the structure intact. The cause of the fire is still unknown. In 1960, the building was completely destroyed after all, and was replaced by the Netherlands Bank. This is yet another building with clear Tartarian features with barely any information on the construction, and that suddenly went up in flames with no clear explanation on why this happened. Amiens Cathedral in France Considered by the Templars to stand on an energy vortex, which is the Ajna, or Third Eye Chakra of Europe, the architecture and symbolism present in the cathedral are said to contain knowledge about alchemy. Palaces, Florence, Italy. Shrouded within the park of Villa Demidoff, just north of Florence, Italy, there sits a 14 meters gigantic 16th century sculpture known as Colosso dell'Apennino or the Apennine Colossus. Inside the Colossus of the Apennines, there still lies a secret compartment which lies in the upper part of the body and in the head. According to a study by Gico, the statue contains a number of rooms with frescoes and fountains moved by hydraulic mechanisms. There is also a fireplace of sorts which once ignited would blow smoke out of the giant's nostrils. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Do you remember what this is? Few weeks ago I have talked about it a bit. 
This is a Schumann resonator with Charter's labyrinth coil. The Schumann resonance was not discovered until late 1800. And this is the floor in Amin's cathedral. This is 16th century painting. In Lucca Cathedral, on one of the pillars beside the entrance, the same labyrinth of charters. Schumann Wave itself is not acting directly on sound or video products to improve the quality of sound quality, but also on the role of the spatial environment, people's physical and mental relaxation, improves the body's perception of sound and images, increases the health of the human body to better work efficiency. In the field of science, Schumann resonance is of interest almost exclusively to meteorologists, who use them to indirectly monitor the global level of incidence of electrical discharges in the atmosphere. Nikola Tesla said, Alpha waves in the human brain are between 6 and 8 Hz. The human cavity wave frequency resonates between 6 and 8 Hz. All biological systems operate in the same frequency range. The human brain's alpha waves work in this range, and the resonance Earth's electrical power is between 6 and 8 Hz. Thus, our entire biological system, the brain and the Earth itself, works on the same frequencies. If we can control that the system resonates electronically, we can directly control the entire mental system of humanity. Anyway, there was a copper plate in its center, and it was removed in 1792. Let's take a look at some of these images. This is an excerpt from drskinhealth.com, which briefly discusses Schumann resonance. Mother Earth's natural heartbeat rhythm is the frequency of 7.83 Hz, also known as the Schumann resonance. A 7.83 Hz frequency is an alpha-theta brainwave frequency in the human brain. Alpha-theta brainwave frequency is relaxed, dreamy, sleepy state, that is also when cell regeneration and healing happens. It is no surprise that people nowadays, especially in bigger cities, are unbalanced, irritated, reactive, angry and disease, are rising in astronomical numbers. We live in the time of technology, with superficial wavelengths that disrupt the natural Earth's frequency. Wi-Fi, cell phones, and an array of electronics, are part of our everyday lives. It is also why our bioelectromagnetic waves are out of balance. We are out of balance from Earth's electromagnetic frequency. For example, the frequency of radio frequency electromagnetic radiation, what powers cell phones, TVs, radio etc., ranges from 30,000 Hz to 300 billion Hz. That is a significant amount more than 7.83 Hz that the Earth radiates. No wonder we are all out of balance and crave healing. Our entire biological system, the brain and the Earth itself, work on the same frequencies. Nikola Tesla We are Earth, we are light, we are the extension of nature. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.